everybody, it's your old friend Octo come back again for another Red vs. Blue reaction. Today we're doing some of the mini series that one of my wonderful subscribers suggested. Uh, it's going to be the Caboose visits the Halo Reach, and then an MIA one, and then there's one other after that. So we got a lot to do today because they're short, but they're, it's going to be a lot of them in, in a row. So I hope you're looking forward to this because you guys and gals are absolutely wonderful. I want to give a big thank you to everyone so far we are closing out on the last couple days of my campaign for helping me out this month and dudes and dudettes you guys are absolutely astounding i don't deserve any of you and you guys and gals help me out a lot um i i am just like a couple yeah i'm not too far off from what i was hoping for but what I got is definitely going to help out in the long run. It's going to definitely keep me from... Um, it's going to help out the situation I'm in. So let's just kind of leave <laughs> right there. Um, thank you so much, folks. You guys and gals just amaze me with the kindness and the support that you guys and gals give me. It just... It simply blows me away. And I wish I could do something for you guys. I really do. You know... Um, I'm trying to get more content out there for you guys. So um, if you want to check it out, my Patreon is still up. And guess what? I launched a new video. Um, I'm going to get back to My Hero Academia. This uh, probably this fall is going to start coming back out with Hero Academia. It's going to be up on my Patreon as well. Uh, almost probably on a semi-weekly basis. Uh, because thing is with ruby is that it's going to only going to be, when we come up on season six with ruby it's only going to be every other weekend so that's going to be a little bit slower it's going to be every two weeks i'm going to launch something um with that because i want to wait and give you know rooster teeth time to launch their stuff and have that time to put it on youtube where it doesn't get youtube blocked which is kind of weird um here lately, I've been seeing that they're re-releasing stuff on YouTube with Rooster Teeth, so I'm not sure if they're going back to it or what their deal is with that. Um, and also, just to get, let you guys and gals know, none of my content since June has been either copyrighted or uh, monetized by Rooster Teeth, which, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say anything, but I mean, I'm a kind of guy is that, hey, they made this with love and i want to show them love and support so i i am a first member so i do you know pay for it in a kind of a way but you know that's up to them to make that decision i guess something changed in their systems um so i'm gonna keep on moving forward and uh keep on going with it um but on patreon we have a new video so go check it out let me know what you think let me know if you really want to keep me if you want me to keep going with that particular series because it is a wonderful series i have a special place in my heart for that particular series um so let's go ahead and get started we got a lot to do today <laughs> but let's give some love to all my new subscribers and to each and every one of you to stick with me thank you so much for tuning in once again let's go do, 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 do. What I did on my summer vacation. Man, I am so excited for the start of Season 9, Sarge. Me too. Now, we're totally on Easy Street this year, man. We're just, you know, had to stand around and talk like we usually do. Let those other chumps handle all the action stuff. Call me! Watch out for that falling rock, by the way. Yeah! Thanks. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I miss all the action sometimes. Uh, did you just fall out of the sky? Yeah. Caboose, what action do you miss? All we ever did was get our ass kicked by Tex. You weren't even in the action scenes last year, Caboose. Oh, I don't mean last season. I mean during the break. During the off season? What were you doing? Oh, I was outside the base one day, and a guy pulled up with a warthog and told me to get in because I was late. So I got in. And then he took me to this cool place, and there was some stuff, and then there was some other stuff. Touch. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and then I met some new people, and they were nice, and I wasn't scared of them because they looked me. You look scary, even though you are smiling. Hello, nice lady who is also a robot. Wait, wait a second, wait a second. Are you saying, did you go into the campaign? Yeah, I don't know what that means, so I'm just going to nod and say yes. Yes. Who told you you could do that? Oh, the man in the car, he just kept asking me, are you six? You are six, right? And I'm way older than six. 
so <laughs> I said yes, every time. That's not, you didn't, he meant noble six, dumbass. Yeah, he did seem pretty confused, or maybe he was just confusing, I forget which one. Anyway, me and my new friends went on lots of adventures together. Not gonna lie to you, Lieutenant. You're stepping into some shoes the rest of the squad would rather leave unfilled. Is it because they stepped in gum? I do that all the time. Yeah, we saw stuff on fire, wow. and some destroyed stuff, and some stuff that was burnt. But mostly stuff on fire that was destroyed. What? Crevice to the east. Crust is made with yeast. Let's go. Got it. And then we rode on a roller coaster that was super fun and went really, really high. Because it was a spaceship! Bleep <laughs> sound effects. I take time. Can we touch all these buttons? Don't touch any buttons. Touch. Come on, giant friend! Come back soon! And then we met this lady who was older than me, but she gave me a present, so I liked her. Do you have it? No, you won't let go. Say the words, please. The words, please. <laughs> and then I met some other guys that were totally impressed. Ah, yeah, that was super hard. Don't try that. You jumped over a sand dune. It didn't look dangerous. Then how did I lose all my fingers? What? Ah, just kidding. Fucking loser. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. I just stepped in some gum to find some peanut butter. And when my mission was all done, they politely dropped me back off at home because they are my new best friends. All right, time for you to leave. Goodbye! Thank you for the ride! You are my new best friends and I will never forget you! You probably can't hear me though because everyone knows there's no oxygen on the roller coaster! I'm yelling quieter now because I'm further away from you! <laughs> then I landed back here at home with my real best friend. Caboose, that was a crazy story, dude. I know. You have no idea. No. Oh, you have no idea. Right. Nobody has any idea. No, son. You specifically have no idea. <laughs> that was actually really good. I like that. That was really good. Uh, <laughs> right. We're going to do a brief pause and we're going to come back with the mini series. All right. Well, we're back. So, this is the mini series. There's about six of these. It's MIA episode one. So, let's go ahead and get started. Hello. <laughs> yeah, me neither. And he's not sleeping. It's really not like him to be up and about this early. Yeah, it's only 1 p.m. Did you check his usual napping spots? Yeah, I did. I checked the bunks. Check under the bunks, too. And in all the foot lockers. What about that space between the mattress and the springs? Where he keeps those magazines? I did. You look in the mess hall pantry? Yeah, the food was all eaten, but he wasn't sleeping on any of the shelves. <laughs> so, he ate all the food, but made it more than 10 feet before collapsing in a food-induced coma. That really doesn't sound like him. I know, he could be hurt. He could be laying somewhere right now in trouble. He could even be dying. I'm worried, sir. What are you worried about? I'm worried about all the stuff I just said. Well, don't worry, Simmons. I'm sure that Griff is either perfectly fine or he's dead. That seems like two extreme scenarios, sir. Oh, really? In either case, he'll just spend most of the day laying around and smelling bad. That effect on those <laughs> is the same. You make a strong point, sir. <laughs> 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 What are you doing, Caboose? Yeah. Push ache. Yeah. Hurdy, uh. Tucker, <laughs> what the hell are these boxes doing outside the base? Don't ask me. Caboose has been moving them all morning. Caboose, what the hell are you doing, man? Uh. He told me to clean up the storeroom. Yeah, but all these boxes can't be just laying around outside. Why not? What do you mean, why not? They're outside. He's got a good point, dude. The cases are waterproof. 
curious if they're outside. I told you to organize <laughs> the crates. I told you to stack them in rows, remember? I said, it's just like Tetris. Well, I did stack them like Tetris, but every time I made a full row, they didn't disappear like they were supposed to. That's not what I meant. That's not how it works, dummy. Actually, that's exactly how Tetris works. What, you haven't played the game before? This is real life, Tucker. The only way to win is not to play. Hey, Caboose, I... maybe you should try humming that Russian song. That might make them disappear. Stop that. Caboose! Sorry. Okay, come on, guys. We can't just leave everything from the storeroom out in the middle of the lawn. Where are we gonna put all this stuff? Well, the storeroom's empty. Ugh. Okay, great. Let's put it in there. And I'll get back to work! Caboose! Sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> poor Caboose. He's a special little snowflake. Let's go ahead and continue. Oh, hey Sarge, did you see this piece of paper on the wall? What is it? It's a letter. It might be a ransom note. How can you tell? Well, it's made of a bunch of cut up letters from newspapers. <laughs> Pretty uninspired design now that I think about it. Kind of predictable, really. Some people have no flair for presentation. I think Griff has been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Who would kidnap Griff? Someone with a really strong back, I guess. Let me see that letter. Here you go. Um, aren't you gonna read it? Do what now? The letter. Aren't you gonna read it? Oh, you know how these ransom letters go, Simmons. They have Griff. They want us to do something, and then we have to get Griff back. Griff annoys me at some point, and in the future I choke him to death. <laughs> I say we just skip the whole process. What? Cut out the middleman. <laughs> Who exactly is the middleman in this? Is it us? Or the kidnappers? Exactly. We can't give in to terrorists, Simmons. Especially when those terrorists are working for a short period of time in a manner that benefits us. Now is the time when we need to turn a blind eye to terrorism. In this particular case. That seems like a bad long-term strategy, sir. Only time will tell, Simmons. Is it okay if I read the letter? Fine. I'll read it. <clears throat> Dear Red Team, We have Private Griff, and we are not giving him back. Stop. We will kill him. Stop. Unless you meet our demands, stop. Demands will be sent later, stop. Was the ransom note a telegram? I don't think so. So what was with all the stops? Oh, those were just all the places where the letter would have been better if it had ended. <laughs> we have Griff, stop. <laughs> we will kill him, stop. Unless you meet our demands, no, stop it. You really are a great leader, Sarge. If come to know you'll never leave us behind on the battlefield. Simmons, I can never leave you behind. Really? Yeah. Thank you, Aww. sir. You carry the keys to the Jeep. Wouldn't get very far without those. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. It also says here that we're being watched. We should make no attempt to contact the authorities. The authorities? We're the military. <laughs> Aren't we the authorities? Kinda. Man, this letter gets more disrespectful by the second. They probably mean not to contact someone higher up. We better call command and see what they have to say about that. Great idea, sir. <laughs> nice. Hey, Tucker, what are you doing up here? Uh, just checking things out. Oh, yeah? You avoiding helping Caboose move those boxes back in the base? Maybe. Why are you up here checking on me? Same reason. No, I'm just doing that <laughs> thing where you look around and gather information. What's it called? What's the word? You mean scouting? No, no, not scouting. It sounds way cooler than that. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, no, I know what you mean. It's, um, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, reconnaissance. Yeah, oh. that's it. I'm reconnaissancing up here. Reconnaissancing all over this bitch. So, what have you <laughs> reconnaissance to? Not much. Well, keep up the good work. I'll just, uh... I'm just gonna stay here and supervise you. Hey, does Red Base seem kinda quiet to you today? Quiet in what way? Quiet in the sense that we can't hear them bickering at each other from halfway across the canyon? Yeah, quiet. Would you say that it's quiet to quiet? No, I wouldn't say that, because that would be lame. I try not to say lame things, just in the off chance there might be a girl nearby. Say it. No! Say it. <sighs> say it. It's quiet. Too quiet. Diabolical! Those words are up to something, Tucker! <laughs> Come on, let's fall back to base. Is it anyone helping me? Actually, you know what? Let's just hang up up here a little bit while longer. Yeah, ah, a little bit. I, are you guys doing that word for the scouting thing? I can't pronounce it yet. <laughs> Poor Caboose. Aww. Alright. Episode 3. Come here, come here. Come here. 
This is Command. Go ahead, dude. This is Sarge from Blood Gulch Outpost Number One. Oh, hey, dude. Right, Blood Gulch. Oh, you remember me? Actually, no, I don't. I was just faking. Said what you said. Hey, hold on, dude. Let me check you up in the old database here, dude. Ah, here we go. Got your stats right here, Blood Gulch. Wow, you guys are terrible at everything. One of our soldiers has been kidnapped. Kidnapped? You mean captured? No, kidnapped. We don't really call it kidnapped in war, dude. <laughs> Is there an enemy base nearby? Like Blue Base? There you go, dude. Blue Base. Yeah, let me... Yeah, maybe you should check there. They probably have your dude, dude. Brilliant. Why didn't I think of that? That's actually a really good question, sir. You blame the Blues for everything around here. You blame them when our equipment's broken? You blame them when we run out of ammo? Okay, Simmons. You even blame them once when it rains. I get it. Now <laughs> shut up. I'm on the phone. You yelled at me and hurt my feelings. Oh. So suck it, sir. Hey, dude. Here's what I can do for you. Since you're a man down, I can send you some reinforcements. You mean like a freelancer? No way, dude. Those guys are expensive as hell. Plus, attitude. Well, nice. what do you got? Call How back. about a medic? You mean like Doc? Yeah, hold on. I'll see if he's available. Let me, uh, just add him into the call here. Do, 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 biddly, do. Come in, Doc. Hello, Doc. Ring-a-ding. Hello, this is Doc. Hey, Doc. This is Vic from Command. Got Sarge on the line now. Gonna connect you. Oh, uh, hey, Doc. Hi, Sarge. It's <laughs> weird to hear from you. Yeah, I feel the same way. Listen, we have a kidnapped soldier over here. Oh, no. Who is it? Griff. Who would kidnap Griff? Apparently someone with a lot of latex gloves and hand sanitizer. Bottom line is, Probably. we're man down. And we think the Blues are going to attack at any moment. Can you help us? Sure. What do you need? How's the kill count these days? Super high. Wait, do you mean on the battlefield? Zero. <laughs> I thought you meant on the operating table. <laughs> oh, great. Don't tell me you're still one of those lame passive or whatever. Pacifists. Yeah. Yeah, Sarge, I still am. You don't just turn that off when it's convenient. It's not like being a vegan. Well, get down here. We're attacking soon and we need all the help we can get. Oh, wait a second, sir. I thought you said the blues were attacking us. We're not going to wait around for that to happen, Simmons. As everyone knows, the best defense is a good offense. Let's put our defense to work attacking their offense before they have a chance to establish a good defense. <laughs> by attacking us first. I'm just gonna go load my gun, sir. Good man. Doc, get down here. Need you to patch up Simmons when he gets killed. On my way. Hey, Caboose, we're gonna help you move all the boxes back in the, uh... Oh, oh. man. You're done? <sighs> yes. Oh, no. Look, Tucker. We didn't get to help Caboose the way we wanted to. Oh, man, that's terrible. I was really looking forward to that. I guess we'll just have to help you next time. Ah, uh, it's okay. You know, I had fun doing it. Oh, also, some of the boxes and the things inside the boxes are broken now, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure that is how they were like before I touched them. And then dropped them. Ugh, Caboose. Oh, uh, also, the one went super fast because it found a new radio station to listen to. They had a cool song about a red base and a command. Whoa, whoa, wait a second, wait a second. What radio station were you listening to? Oh, the one inside my helmet. Yeah, the one with all the voices, right? Wait, we have radio stations in our helmet, right? Yeah. Oh, that guy. <laughs> uh-huh. And what did these voices say to you? Oh, they talked about how Griff was missing, and how Red Table, they had two men down, and how they really needed help. I think he might have intercepted a call from the Reds. I think he's just crazy. Hey, Caboose, Maybe. if the voices tell you to do anything to your parents, just remember, church is your father figure. Yeah, the voices don't <laughs> say that. But they do call me a dirtbag every now and then. It makes me feel pretty bad about Aww. myself. Also, some of the voices sound like some of the other voices. Well, what can you do? Casting is expensive. Shut your mouth. Wait, don't you guys see? If the Reds only have two uh, guys, we have I a strategic that. advantage. How so? What do you mean, how so? We have more than they do. It's simple math. Dude, if I was good at math, do you think I would have joined the army? The space army? They have two guys. We have one, two, three guys. We have an advantage. Two. What do you mean two? We have two guys. No. No. Three. One, two, three. Not so you counted yourself. Yes, so what? I'm still on the team. I still count myself, even though I'm the one counting. No, but it does matter that you're a really, really crappy soldier. Okay, that's a good point. Look, the deal is we <laughs> have more guys than they do, which is an advantage. And we should use this advantage to our, uh... Advantage? Yes, advantage. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Maybe wow. we should use this opportunity to buy a thesaurus. Help you learn some new words. Caboose, what else did the radio call say? Yeah, there was one other thing. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. Come on, think, think, Caboose. Church, how long have you worked with Caboose? Do you really believe that just saying think is going to help? Uh, nope. Yeah, they said they were going to get another guy, then they were going to do something. 
what were they going to do? They were going to... Attack! Oh no! That, that's right, that's it! Thank you, Sergeant! <laughs> Uh, I, I get that reference that you said, you know, a bunch of these hard <laughs> with the voice actors, because if I remember correctly, Vic is played by Bernie and Sarge is played by, by Matt Holum, I think, and Doc is played by the same person, Matt Holum. So it's literally he was talking to himself. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get started like with the next one. They're back at the the, z the zealots, the flag worshippers. Worshippers. Yeah, I couldn't say that. Okay, Sarge said these guys can be a little uh, fanatical. Hey, Caboose, didn't you meet these guys before? It's hard to say. I meet so many people. <laughs> I'm very popular. Oops, who's that? Uh, hey, hi. Uh, we're just some blue guys. Trying to get some direction. Kill recruits! Kill the Reds! Kill the Reds! Kill the Reds! No, 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 not new recruits. Just blue guys. 
like you. Well, better than you guys, though. Okay, okay, yes, yes, sure, okay. But still blue, and therefore not, you know, shootable. Hmm. What do you think, blue soldier? It could be an evil red plot, sir. That one looks okay. But these two look a little... unblue. Would you say non-blue? Off-blue. Disgusting! Maybe they're sick, or maybe they're red in disguise. Only one way to make sure. I need your leader to step forward. Why are you guys looking at me? You're the leader. Well, you know, technically we don't actually have an assigned leader. Oh, you're gonna pull that now? Dude, you always want to be the leader. Well, somebody has to be. Yeah, especially right now, in this room full of idiots with guns. Fine. <sighs> Hello. I am the leader. Hello, Blue. If you are who you say you are, then surely you will know the blue team password. If you know it, you are welcome here. If not, you are not. And also, we will kill you because of the not being welcome thing. Man, I am so glad right now that I have absolutely no ambition. Password? Yes, the blue team password, which every blue learns when he first sets foot on the path to blueness. And once achieving full blue ability, the blue carries a word with him whenever the blue way of life is threatened. What is the blue password? Um... Okay, yeah, they check out. <laughs> we need to get to the city to find out where our soldier is being held. The kidnapper left this note. Hmm. You see something there? Yes. The man you are looking for has terrible handwriting. That's not... Never mind. Can you tell us which way to the city? I don't know. I don't really like the idea of helping Reds. Did somebody say Red Team? Yeah, Red Team, all the way! Fucking hurt! I what? can see the light! And it's a red light! Ugh. We told you, these guys are cool. Yeah, sure. You really think we're cool? Okay, well maybe cool was the wrong word. No take backs! Okay, Aww. we updated your GPS. It was good to see you guys. You two never come back. Done. Hot diggity done. <laughs> Finally, we're here. Cool. Okay. Oh, wow. You guys go find Tucker's kidnap guy. Information guy. I'm gonna grab Caboose and go get some supplies that we can't get in the canyon. Like what? Like everything. The canyon doesn't have crap. Good point. Hey Blue, would you mind picking us up a few things? Why, what's the point of that? We're just gonna take it all back the moment we help you find Griff. Maybe we'll just wait a few days. Snug up then. Yeah, good idea. Come on, Caboose. Where are we going? What? Weren't you listening? No, sorry. These buildings are really tall and that's distracting for some people. Yeah, for you. Um, people. No, just forget it. We're going shopping, okay? Ah, shopping! Oh, God, no, I hate shopping! God, it's so boring and I have to try a pet. Come on, I'll buy you a toy. An ice cream toy? Don't push your luck. <laughs> okay. One. I think now oh, there's six or there's quite a few. Okay, that's him. That's your kidnap guy? My informant guy. Actually, mes amis, my name is not Guy. It is pronounced Guy. Oh, right. Guy. Also, he's French. No kidding. Oui. What do you want, Monsieur Tucker? Well, we got a red team member who's kidnapped. Need some help finding him. Well, why don't you contact Guy? Aren't you Guy? We. Oui. I mean other Guy. One who handles the kidnapping. The kidnap guy? I told you already. He's on vacation. Lucky prick. Okay, what do you have for him? <laughs> we got this note. Mmm, I see. Does it sound like anyone to you? Well, first of all, this person has terrible handwriting. It's not handwriting. It's a ransom note. No. Oh, we. Oui. No, this is not ransom note. Yes, it is. They don't demand ransom. He just says demands coming. This is more like ransom announcement. Like uh, how you say with some movies that are coming out. A preview? Yes, like that. One thing is certain, though. And what's that? Whoever wrote this note. Yes? Has your friend. What? <laughs> know that. That's the one thing we did know. Ha. See? He is right again. Best informant in the business. We came all this way to talk to this guy and... Gee. He's pronounced Gee. And this is all we get? What a wild goose chase. Well, I guess we'll never see Griff again now, but we also won't have to pay the blues. I suppose I should try focusing on the positives. We'll never see Griff again. Hey, look who we found. Griff, also Donut. Hey, guy. He's pronounced... Uh, just forget it. Blue Team says you guys were looking for us. For Griff. We got a ransom note that says he was kidnapped. Kidnapped? No. Yes. We went shopping. Donut went shopping. I got dragged along because I know how to drive. Let me guess. He promised to buy you a toy, didn't he? Maybe. What do you mean you didn't kidnap him? <laughs> you said that you were making demands. Yeah, we were demanding more time off. Remember? You cut up a bunch of letters. Presentation is important. You said you would kill him. I said we would kill him. Red team. 
We're working him to death. Stress is a killer. Oh, but at least we found him now. Hello? You mean found them? Huh? Us. You were looking for both of us, right? Since we were both missing? You guys noticed I was missing too, right? Aww. Right, right? Hey, uh, we should probably go home now. I can't believe we did all this for nothing and lost all our gear. Yep. Suck it, chumps. Hey, Church, how are we going to fit all the red stuff in our base? I thought we were out of room. What? Yeah, we didn't have any space in our storeroom, remember? That's how all this stuff started. Ah, damn it. Ha! Don't worry, Blue. We'll take all this stuff off your hands for you. Right, Simmons? Sure, we'll take it back. Just let me get Griff and we'll move it all back. Griff? <laughs> oh. Griff? Ah, oh, damn it. He's gone again. <laughs> oh, what a great miniseries. <laughs> it's just... But, okay, so... Is this all based off of Epsilon's memory? That he wanted to stay in? Is this all Epsilon storyline now? Is there a new storyline that we get to see Donut come back and... Uh, Church is basically not in that trap and they're still at a sim a semi makeup of blood gulch um and i noticed that he didn't say uh when he contacted vic he didn't say blood gulch blood gulch alpha one he just said blood gulch hmm. so maybe it is just all based off of this is i guess it's like a new timeline it's just like you know they stopped that and then they went into this and they won't go back to the original timeline I don't know, so we'll we'll see where it kind of goes. But we have one more mini series. It's going to be very very short. I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. So where there's a will, there's a wall. So another short mini series. It's only got excuse me three. So let's go ahead and get started. Where there's a will, there's a wall. <laughs> okay. Hey, Griff, can I talk to you for a minute? Not now, Simmons. I'm right in the middle of something. Oh, yeah? What are you doing? Um... Standing? I see. How time-consuming. You know, it really is. You'd think Command would send us a couple of lawn chairs or something. I want to talk to you about Sarge. Don't you think he's been acting a little odd lately? Uh, he's been barking orders and spying on the blues. What's so weird about that? Well, first of all, he's been spying in the wrong direction for three weeks. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, really? Yes. You didn't even notice that the Blues got a shipment this morning. I don't believe it. I know. I'm starting to think something might be seriously wrong with him. You're telling me I've been pretending to work out here this whole time, and Sarge wasn't even watching? Why didn't you tell me this sir? Griff, Simmons, front and center on the double. Okay. So many. Church, we are going to pick up so many chicks. Nice. I mean, I know I said that about the tank, but this, this is a freaking helicopter. Do you have any idea what the word pilot means to women? This is the best Christmas ever. Shut nice. up, Caboose! Both of you shut up! You're ruining the moment! Man, just imagine what we can do with this thing. Yes! I am out of here! See you later, losers! <laughs> Ladies, please! Everyone. I can't land until all 400 of you make room! It's gonna be a pretty tight fit! We're all blonde and we love you! Nice. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> dips! Bridget! No, I mean dips! You wanted to see us, sir? You're damn right! We've got ourselves an emergency situation! Let me guess, is it the blues, dude? When has it ever been the blues? That would make too much sense. Over the past few weeks, I've been conducting top secret reconnaissance. I think I may have stumbled upon an enormous gap in our defenses! What? Where? The worst place of all. Directly behind us! Um, that's just a wall, sir. Well, do you have any idea what's behind that wall? No. I'm disappointed in you for not thinking about it, Simmons. How about okay. me, Sarge? Are you disappointed in me for not caring about it? All this time we've been putting our backs to the wall without even considering what could be on the other side. For all we know, the Blues have been building a massive army right behind us. Or it could be some sort of alien wall. Containing a despicable evil just waiting to get loose. Um, Sarge, there maybe you, you should sit down for a little while, clear your head. I bet if you ask a man to send us a few lawn chairs. You no, know, come to think of it, that wall does seem really out of place. I mean, why would anybody build a wall in the middle of an empty canyon? Why would anyone build a military base in the middle of an empty canyon? Yeah. Don't start that again. These are questions that will never be answered. 
but will continue to be asked. Damn it, man! We will not rest until we know exactly what is behind that wall. I've already got Lopez out conducting research in the Lopez. field. Lopez! Lopez! Status O El Reporto! Yo soy sudamente poca mito. Hot potato! I knew there was something foreign and mysterious about it. Yo soy entrenado. Okay. Next. <laughs> Yeah, it's a wall. Excellent work, men. At this rate, we'll see the other side of that wall in no time. Uh, sir, you know I would normally never question your judgment. Great. Let's keep it that way. Now, plain and simple, by harnessing the tremendous powers of inertia, we can increase the speed of the Warthog and blast straight through to the other side. No es inertia. <laughs> well, thank you, Lopez. <laughs> Esta de los rampa siete tremendo de la resocio. I don't know, Sarge. Driving a car through a solid metal wall just seems a little... implausible. It's freaking impossible! Don't you worry, Private Griff. We've taken extra special precautions to make sure nothing goes wrong and no one is hurt. Or, to be more specific, that very few things go wrong and only one person is hurt. Why won't my seatbelt unlock? Extra special precautions! All right, let's kill two Griffs with one stone. Oh, wow. All right, how about this? In exchange for letting me fly the new vehicle, I'll give you permanent shotgun. Dude, screw that. The passenger seats are exactly the same. Not to mention completely exposed. But, but look, it's got a badass machine gun. Meow. This is Captain Caboose. We are ahead and losing altitude. The use of cell phones and other electronic devices is now permitted. If you're interested in our frequent flyer program, we will soon begin handing out the Listen, <laughs> I'm not falling to my death just because you don't know how to fly that thing. Oh, what? And you do? Hell no, but I never get anything around here. You got your sniper rifle, Caboose got to drive the tank, and the Reds have their Jeep. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> well, looks like that plan failed completely. Simmons, don't be so quick to judge. Grip, are you alive in there? Yes, barely. Oh, uh, damn it. Total failure. All I'm saying is, for someone who hasn't gotten laid since deployment, I sure do feel like I'm getting screwed all the time. Okay, fine. I guess we'll just have to settle this the old-fashioned way. Old-fashioned way? Simmons report status? I mean, status report, Simmons! Well, sir, the warthog is destroyed, the wall is still intact, and Donut says that Griff is lucky to be alive. All terrible news! I hate to say it, sir, but I really don't think we have enough firepower to blast through to the other side. What I'm hearing you say is we need to find something with even more firepower! Actually, sir, I was saying... Like a tank! Wait, what? It's settled then! You and Griff will commandeer the enemy vehicle! No! There is no way I've survived an 80 mile per hour crash just to get blown up by a tank! Fine. Lopez! Lopez! Stop fooling around! You're going with Simmons to Blue Base! Yo soy retunado. Now, start turning this ridiculous ramp contraption into an equally ridiculous elevator contraption of similar value! What? Why? Because, in the somewhat likely event that these two don't come back, we've got to have a fallback plan! What's the fallback plan? Simple. If we can't go through the wall, then we're gonna go over it! But, I hate heights! Shhh! <laughs> I'm almost as much as I hate birds! Alright. This is episode three. Ooh, this one's a little bit longer. Sarge, don't make me do this. Damn it, Grip, hurry up. We gotta find out what's on the other side of that wall. But, but I don't think I can climb any higher. And the birds keep circling me. Why are they doing that? <laughs> what have I done to anger you? Go crap on a car or something. Leave me alone! <laughs> you move so little most of the time, they probably think you're a statue! Birds love statues! Sarge! Less talking, more climbing! For all we know, Simmons and Lopez are already in a heated battle with the blues! Ah, I think there's a nest up here! Oh god, what if there's eggs? Alright, Lopez, there's the tank. But where are all the blues? Probablemente fuera espionado mientras se usa un rifle como un telescopio. <laughs> oh, wait, there they are. What are they doing? En cielo. Todo esto podría ser más de tres disparos. <laughs> Technically, Solo yes. Apatrar el gatillo maldita. You're right, Lopez. It does seem suspicious. Dispara a mí. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Ready to win that sweet ass helicopter. On three. One, two, three. Caboose! Hello. Come here, Caboose. Come on, Caboose. Come here, buddy. Hey. I've got something for you. Go say hi to your good friend, Church. Caboose. What's up, buddy? Yes. Over here. That's right. Caboose. Yes. Caboose. I am Caboose. Yes. Caboose. That is correct. 
Why do you keep saying my name? Come here, buddy. I've got a surprise for you. No, 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 no. Over here. Over here, Caboose. By me. Well, that, that would be fine. Caboose, if you come here, I'll help you organize your kitten calendar. Yeah, well, maybe we could scrapbook together. Wait, Caboose. I'll teach you how to read a calendar. I, I never thought of that, actually, before. That could be good. Caboose, I'll let you play with a tank whenever you want. Oh, wow, well, yeah. We could juggle you, maybe, even. Wait, hey, wait, Tucker, come on. You can't do that. Why not? You never ruled out lying. Half of the stuff I have in life I got through lying. And the <laughs> other half I got by stealing, which is basically just lying about which stuff is yours. No, no, hey, Caboose, wouldn't you rather come over and hang out with me, your best friend? <sighs> your best... Oh. You're you know what? Forget it. It's not worth it. Not nah, too late. I heard you say it. We all did. Yeah, watch out, ladies. Captain Tucker is ready for liftoff. Okay, we made it. Let's get out of here before the blues. Wait, what's that? Vamos a ir. Oh my gosh. Is that a helicopter? Mira, un cruzo de hola la All right, Lopez, change of plan. We're stealing that airship. Como no estamos capacitados para volar. Think about it. What if the tank isn't strong enough to blast through the wall? What then? Vamos a tener un tanque. Yeah. Tener un tanque y los alos traerán un pequeño avión que probablemente no siquiera puedo volar. Exactly. So if we steal that chopper, we can just go over the wall instead of through it. It's a sure thing. No podemos volar, you say. We'd be dumb not to do it. Yep. Hello. And thank you for activating the UH-144 Falcon aircraft. You may call me Phil. Nice. Oh. Why, hello there, Phil. Would you like me to run the tutorial program? Oh, hell yeah. I love tutorial. Tutorial mode activated. Best day ever. Emma Polion. Shut up. Don't ruin this for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. How about this? What if I threw in the keys to the tank as well? No, I'm not giving you my helicopter. Uh oh, how about this? What if I promise to be your wingman? For life. Not happening, dude. Tucker, this is my final offer. I will give you the sniper rifle. You know, Church, the old Tucker probably would have taken you up on that. But I'm Captain Tucker now. And Captain Tucker only does two things. Gets laid and pilots his sweet-ass helicopter. Help! I have no idea what I'm doing! <laughs> now that you have mastered uh. the art of liftoff, we will move on to the landing. On the other hand... Captain Tucker could also learn to love rifles in exchange for... Yeah. Feels off, Captain. Uh, Sarge? Uh, I think I see something. Is it a secret weapon? No, wait. It's another blue base, isn't it? It kind of looks like a big bird. We already took care of that situation, Private. Wait a minute. Is that... Graham Simmons? Simmons? Save me! He's gonna crash. Sarge, get me down! No abandoning the mission! You've gotta so... be kidding me! I don't wanna die a virgin! <laughs> oh no. Simmons, your terrible piloting skills broke to the wall. You get an A plus and doing things bad. But but where's Griff? Damn it. <laughs> wall? How are we going to get through that? Why would we do that? Uh, sir? I just wanted to know what was on the other side of our wall. It turns out it was just a harmless second wall. Case closed. But, but sir, case closed. Que idiota te hacer? Ah, Lopez. Perfect timing. This wall needs to be rebuilt, pronto. Okay. Oh, and by the way, when you're done with that wall, the warthog could use some maintenance. It's making kind of a funny sound when it starts, and it's also, uh... In several pieces. So have fun with that. I think my knees are in several pieces. <laughs> I'm gonna get one. Okay, so like I said, is this all based off of Epsilon's memory that, like I said, he wanted to stay in? This is not based off of the uh, the main timeline. This is kind of an alternate timeline, as it were. It's just in his memories that he's, you know, doing all this. So I kind of wonder. Let me know what you guys think, or if you have an idea of what's going on. Kind of give me, a, you know, somewhat of a clue. Don't spoil anything. Just kind of let fill me in if I'm missing something, uh, or what you guys think, or if this is actually going to come back into the main timeline that we just were out of folks 
you guys and gals are awesome. I will hope that you guys give me a thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you next time. Peace out. Shabam.